Yes. Okay, today we're going to be testing the return to home, or uh, what I call fail-safe, feature of the Alien X Quad here with the DJI NASA controller. Now, it's a DJI NASA M Lite, specifically. Here's the GPS here, and it's got a compass in it. And hopefully what happens when I hit this fail-safe switch here, flick this on the radio, it will go into fail-safe, and then return to home and land. So that's what we're going to be testing. Here we go. Bring it over here a little bit. A little further than that, right? Yeah. Alright, maybe right there. Alright, now I'm going to push the switch. Okay, it's in fail safe now. What? Okay, there it goes up. I'm not touching it. Don't you touch it. I'm not touching it. Well, if it's going to the old landing. Okay, it thinks this is home right here. Uh, it's trying to pinpoint it. Yeah. It's still flashing. It's just circling, but it is. It doesn't know exactly where it is. It's circling too Probably much. I don't think it's going to land at that rate. Oh. So you saw from the video that there was a there's some toilet bowling going on when it was trying to land. In other words, it was sort of circling around clockwise. And uh, I've since learned that, of course, that's about the compass declination, the difference between magnetic north and true north. And uh, let's go take a look at the manual. And you can see if the quad's going around in a clockwise direction, like the uh, video shows, my flight, uh, that you need to change the declination or move the compass to the left. So the question was how much? So I went to this website and found my location and in the box it says that my declination is minus 8 degrees 38 minutes. So that's what I need to do is turn my compass to the left minus 8 degrees. I not only turned the compass 8 degrees to the left but I also moved the GPS compass module. It used to be down here on the arm on a pedestal. And I took it off that pedestal and moved it over the center of gravity right here between all the motors. And uh, that's a nice spot for it. Seems to work much better there. Still picks up plenty of GPS satellites. So it's actually Velcroed down so I can peel it off and move it if I have to. And then I just got this little strap over it. And you can see here, where I've got written on there, minus 8 degrees, and I think it was supposed to be 38 minutes, but uh, with my eyesight, if I can just get it near minus 8 degrees, I think it does pretty good. So that's where I've got it right there, and I used a protractor to kind of figure out where that minus 8 degrees was. And uh, so it's now turned to the left, since this is the front of the quad here, it's now turned to the left and uh, that counteracts the toilet bowling effect where it was circling to the right. So if it's circling right, turn your compass left. If it's circling left, turn your compass right, at least in our hemisphere. And you also notice I have the rear cover off here, and this is the Min NASA Mod Quad, so there's the Minim OSD right down in here, tucked right in there. That's just a side note. Okay, since I moved the hardware and changed a few things, I'm going to have to do the NASA dance again when I get out to the to the flying field, which today is the golf course. And um, so you'll be seeing me do that before I do the flight. 
So I did the compass calibration, or so-called NASA dance, by flipping the mode switch ten times until I got a yellow light, rotated the quad around me clockwise until I got a green light, and then I pointed it nose down facing away from me and rotated it around clockwise again until it went back to its uh, regular mode, which in my case was manual and was flashing red lights. Here we go, got eight satellites. Okay, commencing toilet bowl test after adjusting GPS. Alright, that should be far enough. Alright, flipping switch for return to home. There's the flashing red light indicating a fail save. There it goes up. It's spinning around for some reason. Coming back. It's overhead now. Two overhead. Back and up. Starting to come down. Coming down a little bit hot burst. Coming down a little bit of time, isn't it? And a little hot burst here. Coming down. You got a bent leg, by the way. Yeah, that foam bends a little bit. Well, Mine doesn't bend as much because I put that glue on it, remember? Oh, yeah. And the crack to keep but it from splitting. Look split. at this, man. It is working. It's coming back. It's within like 10 feet, 5 or 10 feet. About to land. It worked. It worked. Yeah. So adjusting the GPS with a little declination seemed to help. So the toilet bowling is fixed. We have the compass located uh, in a good spot and the declination set in. So I think it's all set and ready to go. On to the next project.